What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to sing some text with a beat in Vegas Pro 14. So here we are in Vegas Pro 14, I already have my beat up, it's the same beat you saw at the start and for those wondering what the beat was, it is this one right here, a link to it will also be in the description. So I'm going to play it through for you and this is what we have. So every time there's a kick and every time there's a snare, that's when I want the text to appear. But the first things first, we're going to create our text. So for that, we're going to head over to Media Generators. If you don't see it, then come over to View, Windows Layout and select Default Layout. Now from Media Generators, you want to come all the way down and you want to go to Legacy Text and you want to select a text that you like. Now I'm going to pick the default text. I'm just going to drag and drop it on like so. Now this text is going to be everything you want to be displayed. Now what I want to be displayed on this text is how to sync uh, music with a beat, how to sync uh, music with a beat. England is my city. Um, actually I'll keep that on one line in Vegas Pro 14. I'm then going to press Control A and I'm going to change font size to 50. You can also come here and choose a font that you would like. So I'm going to change mine now. There we go. So this is the font I am using and I'm simply going to X out of it. And the next thing I'm going to do, every time there's a kick or there's a snare, I'm going to press M on my keyboard. Now what this is going to do is lay down a marker and this is going to let me know when a kick or a snare is occurring. So you can see right here is a snare. And you can see the audio waves give it away. You don't have to play it through to find out where it is. So right now I'm going to quickly go through this and I'll be back to you when it is done. Okay, there we go. I think that should be enough. I have just estimated. And the next thing I'm going to do is come across and press S on my keyboard every time there is a marker. So I'm going to select the marker, press S on my keyboard to split this text. And this will make more sense when we come to the actual editing part. There we go. And I'm also going to leave this part in the end for now. So just uh, now, I'm just going to recap what we've done so far. We've put in our music, we've made some text, and we've laid down markers on where the kick and the snare is. And then we've split the text where the markers are, because that is where the kick and the snare is. And that's when we want a word to appear. So I'm going to play it through and you'll see, if you look at the timeline as this is playing through, you'll notice when there's a kick or a snare, the markers are also there as well. Just like, just like that. And now let's get into the actual editing. So we're coming to the event pattern graph. We're coming over to the masking tool. And this is where we actually begin. So it's on the first snare, it's on the first text here. We need to choose what we want to show. Now what I want to show is how to. So I'm going to highlight this out. And I should mention, um, I am using the rectangle or square mass creation tool over here on the side and I am right at the start on the first keyframe and I also recommend having sync cursor unchecked. So make sure you're on the first keyframe, make sure you're using the rectangle or you can even use the anchor creation tool and then just highlight the word that you want to show and you'll also see on the timeline that word is now showing. The next step from this we're going to right click that video, select copy and we're going to come over to the next text here, right click and select paste event. Now I'm coming to the event pattern crop on this next clip and this time we're going to drag it out because the next word is sync. Then we're going to right click, copy, right click, paste, next one here and now this is where we change it up a bit. So we can't just drag across and we can't just drag down because then the text will be very weird. What we're going to do is come back to the rectangle or square mass tool and we're simply going to left click and we're going to drag out a new box like this. There you go, you can see music is coming up. I'm going to right click this, copy, come over to the next one, right click, paste, event pattern crop, next word is with, I'll do with a, actually I'll do with first, then a beat together, so right click, copy, right click, paste, and again event pattern crop, a beat is going to be the rest of this line here, right click, copy, next line, right click, paste, and again we start on a new line. So we're almost done now, right click, copy, right click, paste, 
Next, event pattern crop, and we're going to drag this across to Vegas. Right click, copy and paste. This one again, event pattern crop. We're now using Pro. And one more time, because of course we have 14 left. Paste and just drag it across. Now, you'll see I finished there and we still have these ones left over. We can simply delete the remaining up here, but we can leave one for final so it's just going to be showing. And we can also delete these markers because then it tells us we don't need to go that far. So now I'm going to play it through for you and this is what we have. <laughs> And that is it. And what we can also do, you hear here, we have that so we can make the text maybe flash for a bit of a uh, animation. So press S on my keyboard. I'm going to come across three frames. So one, two, three, S. And I'm going to delete this part right here. Then right here, S. Come across one, two, three, S. Delete that middle one here. And then the final kick here, S. One, two, three, delete this middle section and you'll see it's just created just like that pretty simple and we've also got a snare here so once this snare goes off we can have the music or the text completely going off as well so this is this is what I've just done with this part playing it through just like that and you can see it creates a good effect but that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.